Hello folks, this is the McGinney Maniac here. Welcome to my 125th gameplay of the Pokemon Training Card game online for the PC. This time I'm going to be doing a deck, sort of a deck and uh, doing a match with it. I'm going to talk about the rotation that's happening. Well, it's going to affect in the online program today, but it takes into effect officially until tomorrow. It's the uh, rotation, so all card, normally it was from Ultra Prism sets, Ultra Prism to Darkness of Blaze, but now it's cards from Team Up to Darkness of Blaze, so we lose a few sets. And some cards we, we lost. So I'm going to talk about the key cards we lose. And now I'm going to describe how it packs the game. So let's go to collection. So here's the rotation notice right here. So you have all these sets. So team up, a broken bonds, unified minds, cosmic eclipse. Then you have hidden fates. Then the of Pikachu. Then Sword and Shield, Rebel Class. And then Darkness of Blaze. So we go through, we're going to go through by our set. So we're going to start with Ultra Prism first. I'll go through each set. Take all the, I won't go over, over every single card. But I'll go over the key cards that we lose. Uh, I'm going to start with Ultra Prism. We're going to do the Sun and Moon series. Uh, not the Sun and Moon series. The Sun and Moon series. We also lose cards from what we call 158. Uh, uh, Sun and Moon Bones 158 on uh, also legal. So we're I'm going to start with Ultra Prism first. Then we lose the Forbidden Light, Celestial Storm, Dragon Madison, and Lost Thunder. So we lose five sets in the set. It also was hidden, some cards were hidden in space, only the, um, the, from the Shiny's Ball set could stay, except for like a Rock GX, which, stay, which is still legal. So let's do Ultra Prism first. Uh, let me just set up the, the grid. I'll do Pokemon first, and I'll do Trainers and so on, so on, so I'll just go down the list, we'll see, we'll lose, keep Pokemon, we'll lose. So Lone Dark Trail was another example, it was, a, it was a decent one back then. It did 30 damage for each metal energy discarded for free energy costs. It was metal 60 HP stage 1. So you play it pretty much with Mount Cornet or Fisherman or any of Tribbles to get back energies as well. And then Fisherman, which I think we still keep. I think Fisherman was, still, well, was printed, reprinted, I'm not sure though. We'll see. So I'll keep going through the cards. Let's see what else. Uh, what else the key notice here? Um, nothing here. Oh, Dark Rider Prism Store was good. It had a Nightmare Store, so you attached two extra energy. It was good playing in the uh, Dark Box decks. So you got two energy, extra energy. For your Greninja Zord, Titan GX, which did 30 damage plus each. 30 more damage for each Dark Energy on your board. Lose most Prisms. The only Prisms we do lose is Tabo Coco. Uh, we keep is Tabo Coco Prism, so that's the only one we keep. Everything else we lose, I believe. Alright, so I'm gonna, let's go to the next card. Darkwing's the Cosmo was also a good card. It had an invasion, so... Yeah, one of the HP is an Ultra Beast, it's a basic. It, you can switch with your active, so pretty much I say if you, um... So it was playing, uh, Arceus, the Agapalki Hanization decks. So you can, uh, what you do is you tackle Zation. Brave Blade, and then you switch with Dark Wings, and of course you use a switch or Air Balloon, which gave it minus two retreat, which has two retreat, and then use it again over and over. So which pretty, it was a pretty good switching card. Let's see what else. The Algo was also pretty good too. I think we had the metal one, but I think we lose the metal one too. Uh, I had the time with the GX attack, which did 150 damage. You skip a turn, so you take two turns instead of one. Pretty good to skip out, uh, take skip turns. Uh, let's see what else. Dark Swing or Cosmo, one of my favorite GXs. You pretty much paired with Magnezone from this set too, which we did lose. We lost the, uh, the Lightning one. It had uh, 199 HP, was a basic. For 4 energy, the medium term was a 220 damage, which was a big number back in the day. You just got 3 and then some of the clips did 250 if you're losing. So, pretty good hitter at that time. Let's see what else I got here. Uh, Apollo was also good back then as well. Uh, this one damage feature bench, so you fill up your bench, you do up to 120. It was weak, uh, Fire Dex was still good. And, this, and they're better now because of. Uh, Santa Scorch Remax and also Charles Levy Max. It did big damage. I did play this one back then, then as well. Uh, let's see what we lose. Uh, this Gold Trap was good as well. If you have to, I think we have the fighting one still, but I'm not sure. I have to double check that. Uh, it did um, 100, uh, 200 damage for 3 energy. You have 20 energy now, so it's easy to set up now. Uh, so you can take knockoffs that way. You also have Martial Off Dodger, which made it 240 damage. 260 with the Dancing Prison Stone, which we also do lose at this set. Take take at least your one shot. Let me see the fire one story. Let me see if I can find the uh, fighting one. And the fighting one's right here. Let me see what that set is from. I gotta see what set that. I gotta see what that set logo. I don't know what that set logo is. It might be Forbidden Life. I think we will lose. Uh, might we lose this one too? So we'll just double check that in a second. All right. Uh, Glaceon GX was good. Yeah, yeah the Fuji guys were more EXs and GXs in the play. It had, gave them no blizzard ones in the active, and then the Frost Bolt was good for any damage. You play with Greninja GX, from, I think from this side, I think from Middle Light, to do damage and then just hit big numbers with Paul Spear too. Do damage, damage only active, so you take out big knockoffs that way. 
Let's lose all the roll times. We lose Heat, Fan, Mel, and the regular roll times because they had the ninth. Well, two cards, you have the venture back, so you got to use the tools and then you discard them all. And then they, uh, you can just pay those. Depending on the matchup, you did Frost Water them as well. Wash Water them. It's good for the fire decks as well. Uh, let's see, anything else here? Leafy on Jack is one of my favorites. Preferably, it's 50 damage ability. Uh, so before 110, and then Grand Bloom. You got you play a pair with the Situate back from Sun and Moon. This is what you from Sun and Moon base set. Did 100. Uh, you paid off that way, and then you just hit damage counters and hit big damage. That would take a big knockout. Uh, let's see. Lucario good, was good too. With uh, with the Cynthia combo. You pick on a good one with the Go Charm Lucario. You search out if you have Go Charm, search out Lucario. And then you search out Cynthia to get that, take that big attack for 200 damage. Uh, Lunala Prism Star was also good. Full Moon Star, you try to always take energy as much as possible. And aside from the 20 damage for each one, I'm going to play for 4 psychic energy. So big energy is right there. Let's see what else. Uh, Luxray, this item, Luxray was good. Luxio, I mean. It's the 30 damage to disconnect. It was fair to play since the new Lux Luxray Revival Flash came out, so you paired it off with that. You item lock until 1, and then you just hit him big with Luxray, and then take a big knockout. Because 164 energy. Uh, we lose also this Magnezone and Magnetic Circuit. Good for the metal decks. Attach metal energy once per turn. They have the Lightning one too. Uh, I think we lose that one too. I think that was Forbidden Light as well. Uh, Lightning one's right here. It had the same ability, but it was only for Lightning types too. I think we lose. So this was, I think, for Lightning Light also less, so I'm not sure. So we'll see. Let's see what else here. Uh, there's the Roll Times again. Oh, this was a, a Ranguru Prison, a uh, Ranguru Research Management. Very popular against the Mill decks, Control decks, so you got back your Bella Bars and Bison Mans. Get back your control cards so you can set the loops up again. Big loss for Mill and Control because they can't get cards back with the resource management attack. Well, I'm not a fan of Will Mill myself, so. Oh, this patch of resource was good for the Nuzzle decks. It's pretty really accelerated nuzzle, uh, Nuzzles. Because uh, you have White Chew, you have Pikachu. You also had a Molga. And then Dynamic the 2 with Nuzzle. So you got it's very low, it's low it's cause it makes the nuzzle look very slow now. Uh, so Palkir GX was good at zero advantage GX. Good tag on the water decks against like also the all powers Well, I, I, well, pretty much decks that require a lot of energies on the board to attack to do big damage. And we also have the water one. So I think the water one's also in the uh, forbidden light as well. Here's the water one. I'll take a look at that once we get back to it. All right, so let's see. Fairmost GX was good on dot in the, in the dot decks uh, for expanded. So you can fast wait on your first turn, then it's not like Jirachi or very weak. Basically, you take knockouts with like Sig like Goon or uh, like uh, the Sujuai as well. Let's see what else here. Um, Rotom well, again, we all lose. Let's see. Uh, so, uh, there's a Bell Jidex in the Valley. It was very good in the. It was played recently in the Mewtwo Mudex for Eternus VMAX because you can fill up. They fill up a bunch of 8 points where you can one shot Eternus VMAX with the Rebel GX attack. But now since that's gone, it was played in between the decks. I, had it. I did play somebody with all the memories back then, but all the memories are gone. So, yeah, it's pretty much good. What are my favorite cards, actually, on the set? Oh, Sokaleo GX. Oh, it's, this Shanks 2 was good. So, I had an evolutionary advantage. You can evolve to Luxio turn 1 and Iron Luxio turn 1 from this set. Also, I had the Sneasel with the uh, Sneak and good in Dark Box. We have other Sneasels there, but this one is called an energy. They attach turn 1, so you slow them down a bit. See what else? Uh, this Tabu Lele with Magical Swap, very good in the spread decks. With Tabu Coco was a thing. The 20 that was flying flip. Uh, it was very good Weezing too, because you can do the same thing with Weezing and swap them. They take it. Who the damage around, take knockouts on the big Pokemon. Uh, there's the Watch for Um, uh, Weaver, oh, this Weaver was good too. It was played in some Eternals Remax decks because it was good at Counter for Sama Zenta V. It's an Elam initiative 50 times the number of. Each of them had abilities, so many Pokemon had abilities, so you can pretty much one monster on a 7 7 and have 5 abilities in play out of 6 points. And 7 7 has an ability itself, too. So. Oh, bless me. Okay, so that's the Pokemon. Let's do the trainers. Let me just go with trainers. Uh, let me just filter that to Ultra Prism. Uh, let me go to the Sun and Moon series, and then I'm going to fly into Ultra Prism. Okay, so let's just try this. Here we go. Uh, one of the best supporters are Cynthia, Cynthia, Sophie and Draw 6, but we do have uh, Marnie. We do have um, Bird Keeper now. Erica Sospatala to replace it. 
So for, it's pretty much one of my favorite supporters, Shovel Hand Draw 6. Very similar to Professor Oak's theory from the whole Rust of Zero series. One of my favorite supporters all around. Uh, Cyrus is good too. It was played in some uh, white co- uh, like the white Kerm deck. You had a water uh, metal, uh, limit, uh, limit the opponent to 3, is that, uh, 2 actually. And then shovel to the deck. Uh, also, the memories are gone for survival. Escape Boy was a big hitter too for the Jirachi decks. If any other player Jirachi, you gave a free retreat. It was asleep because the ability of Stellar Wish looks like lot, lot of the top five cards. And, um, pick a trainer and then it goes to sleep. We got a skateboard so you can free retreat. But you know I have Scoop Up Night now, which brings it back up. So it's pretty much the same thing, but not, not much of a tool. So the actually fire memories, all the memories are gone. Uh, Gardini and Lana. Lily was good back then, in the beginning, where they had the. But when the retreat rule happened, where the supporter says you cannot play a support on your first turn, it, it was not very good anymore. Because it was good on your first turn, you drew it to eight cards. So you, limit, you just go to your hand, so you have one cause, less cards in your hand, and you literally for a forehand get a lot of cards that way for the next turn. Uh, Looker was okay. Played some decks. Lucimine was good. In the control decks, you got supporters back. Uh, good as well. And then Morris was good in the control decks. You go to the score of the card from your opponent's hand, so you. You, um, chip, chip, you reset them to a low hand when they're ahead of the game, and you just got that one called Mars, and then you just take uh, limit their hand that way. I think it's in control of them drawing. Uh, my corner was good. Uh, let's get back two medals with the low and the deck I was talking about earlier. Get back energies you need it, and then just attach them again with uh, Magna Zone or Ductrio. Uh, Use them in the hand and discard them again. Order Pan, another great card. Um... Good in August, the power of the search for your energy switch, that quick ball you need for that turn one auto creation GX. Very played recently, but now it's gone, so, but they have other ways to search that style. Pow Pow, we keep, it was printed in Solar Show, so we do keep that. Pokemon Fight Club was decent, but we have Professor Oak set up now. But it was very, it's not as played as much because of the first turn supporter rule, so you couldn't set up your bench that way. The Fox was. Bad, bad, uh, lose all the fossil deaths, but you do have the research lab, so you can search for Pokemon without using the fossil. And just evolve them that way. And the Volkner, a very, uh, very good card in the electric decks like Pikachu, Zach, Rom. Big one, play, B players play though, Volkner play B, so you search for your energy, the item cards, so you search for like the, um, that quick ball if you're not drawing dead, get out the dead end out, and then keep drawing your deck. Let me look, go back to the energy. Do we have a couple of energy cards that do lose two in this set? Let me just take a quick look. Let me flip that to Ultra Prism. Uh, so let's do Ultra Prism. And, uh, uh, Ultra Prism right there. So we lose the Super Boost. Very good for the Evolution decks. It was Little Queen. Because you got three or more evolutions, you count as four energy instead of two. Uh, this unit energy you lose two. It was playing the Quagsire decks. This one was also playing the Orcus Diego Pavilization decks at a long time as well, so it gives an extra energy setup as well, and we got the key, uh, key uh, attack next turn. That's Ultra Prism. Now we're going to move on to Forbidden Light, which I think is the next set. Let's go here. Yes. Forbidden Light is next. Let me just go uh, for everything. Let me just filter everything to Ultra uh, Forbidden Light. And now just uh, continue that way. Let's do Pokemon. I have a chance. I may filter this to Ultra Prism. Uh, Forbidden Light. There we go. Okay, so here's Ultra Prism. Uh, let's see. Oh, this was an, uh back then in the very deck. This is my brother's favorite deck. He did play. You played a little like it's a shuckle. You got uh, it had a ability called Fresh Squeeze, so you shuffle as many energies. Let's go as many energies, and then Trouble Save did 20 damage for each basic and uh, uh, each type. But it was maxed out at 120. It was very good in the beginning. Not so much because we had the big B-Max decks, which was very well to one-shot easily. What else we got here? Uh, Arceus Prism Star was good back then with the White Kyrum. Uh, if you had a light, a Grass, Water, Lightning, was, uh, if you had a Striker, uh, Feramosa, or White Kyrum, you attach three out your White Kyrum and then hit big numbers that way. Let's see what else here. Um, Buzzwall was good too. Uh, it's got the uh, 130 HP fighters, have basic... It pretty much one shot like the Pico or True Zekko, because if there are four prizes, they take a knockout of a GX, for example. You hit with Buzz with one energy, does uh, 120 if you're down to four prizes, but the 240, so pretty, one shot is a Pico or True Zekko. Very good in the decks back there as well. This play in the Spiritual deck as well, for that reason as well. 
Let's see what else. Uh, there's Diago again. There's Diancy Prison Star, very good for the fighting decks. Uh, give it 20 more damage boost, so you can f fix numbers with that. And they take key knockouts. One of my favorite Prison Stars actually from that. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, Polion again, the metal one. Execute. Uh, also, the Slabe, uh, it was good in the the uh, Forge's store decks, which allows you to get back um, add one of his gifts, so it allows you to bring a, a Pokemon back to the top of the deck and then store with them. And put it back to your bench with the uh, sauce buck too. So it speed it slows it down. Oh, there's the there's the forges I was talking about there. So you go back to your little poker doors or if you need a supporter. I did play the deck too at one point. It was very fun, but the stars did not hit that much damage, so that's why it was not that strong. Okay, uh okay, the Frog Deer too, the Frokies and the Frog Deers, the Religion GX, the Gale Shuriken and the uh, Shuriken Flurry, put two damage carries for three. But you do have the Ast uh, Glaria Ostacum, which does the same thing when you evolve it. But to that guy on the loon does not have that ability, but very good one of my favorite cards. There's the good fighting the trouble like I said earlier. Gumi was good in the Behem decks or the stall decks, because it allowed one one extra energy to attach. So it was um it stalled attacks, it was good in stall decks because it stalled stall and attacks. Let's see what else. Uh there's Greninja GX I was talking about which, oh not this one. But Shuriken Flurry, put three, and then the Shadow Hunter was good. It was playing the beginning control deck with the you want the stage you kept moving hay slash put it back. Um so your opponent's deck out so you attack with hay slash put the Greninja back and then draws the Greninja to do it again. It's pretty much a reset. Okay, what else we got here? Hunter was good in the tool drops. And the final hour if you put not that I'll put three damage counters weekend for the tool drop. Uh I think we lose two drops. I think double blade we will lose two. It's in the future set. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, okay, so the Malamar engine is dead. It was a psychic recharge, very popular back then. It needs to move Malamar. Malamar by itself, spell tag Malamar. There's the Magnus. So there's the Malamar right here. Psychic recharge, you put up psychic energy, so you play with Giratina. Or Air Lot of Partners, Ultra the Crow's Mod as well, which was one of the first decks I played when Forbidden Light came out. So you did 20 plus 80 for each psychic energy you discarded. So a lot of Malamar de the Malamar's deck is officially dead. You lose Giratina as well with the Distortion Door. Also, Nagano GX was good with the Stinger GX. So it was good in Nagano Control. So you pretty much Stinger early. Take, if you're playing against a Tag Team GX, you Stinger. And then you take a knockout on a Tag Team, you pretty much win the game very fast. And very good against Mill because you take fights very fast that way and take a keep knockout. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, Palkia, same deck. Um. For most, I had the free retreat. Uh, there's Poipo, Paul, also the Gano, my favorite card, the Gano from Lost Thunder, is also retreated. I had the charge and ability to touch a psychic. It was good in uh, Bolton, it was good in Grinazor, Reshiram, 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 uh, Grinazor, stuff like that. Let's see what else. The Rotoms are gone. Let's see what else we got. Um, oh, there's Ultra Necrozma. It's good in the Mutimu decks because you're pretty much one shot big. B maxes, the 20 for 88 for a Forza guys in one second with Metal, play with Malamar, you can pair with Mewtwo too. So you can, uh, and the Sky Scorcher Light was good against like the Lost Smudge or. And then you hit the big numbers that way as well. Okay, so next card, one of my favorite cards was said when I first started playing. Uh, Volcanium Prism was good in the water decks, Jack Guy's ability, and Sword of Blast. Just got a water switch. It was good in, like, I played it in Lapis V Max. I played it in, uh, Mail was good as well. So, let's say you can take a knockout, take a door out, bring out something else. So, Blast is good for spreading damage. Uh, Xenos was good in, also, they play in the Guard of Observion decks back in the day. For the Sanctuary GX. So, if you hit a Guard of Observion big enough, you swap the damage and take a knockout. And then, oh, uh, Vettel GX, one of my favorite cards, too, from, uh, I mean, like, it was good in the obstacle decks because you, you put four damage counters with playing obstacles in Dragon and with Nets. It was playing in the Turners too. So you take a big knockout with a Doom Count GX. So you put four damage counters on something, you take a big knockout that way with the Doom Count with the GX. I did play Zygarde too with the other Zygarde from I think Cosmic Eclipse, which uh, moves to the Zygarde's 20 damage as well. So we lose that. We lose Trainers now. We have to ready for Trainers. So we lose Beast Swing. Very good in the Bacephala GX, Nagano GX decks from Lost Thunder. So you, you take a knockout of the Bessel GX, you down the four prizes, then you attach as many energy beasts and go off. Take big knockouts that way. 
Mine's going to Zygarde. Crash Awake was good in um, the water decks. You start to discard two water to get a, get a card from your hand. Diantha was good in Grand Ball from mm -hmm. Lost Thunder as well. You, if they don't have one of your Grand Balls, get another Grand Ball back and evolve it again, then limit that hand down to zero. Take a key knockout. And the Polar System play. Judge was good too. Mm -hmm. We have more in similar side. You draw four cards. You, well, you draw five, they draw four. Very good in the. Uh, to limit your opponent's hand. Lady is good in the, uh... Lady was good to get energy out faster. Left hand person start okay. Left hand left was good back then, so you limit their skate balls and Jirachi, so they couldn't retreat. And they get, with, they get your tools, and then, uh, take a big knockout. Metal Flying Pan, lo big loss for Metal Dex, like Sedation, or we call them Metalization. Chris Fire is very big in the format now, thanks for Volcanic, thanks to, uh... Uh, Santa Squires and Charizard, and maybe Bicephalon. So you uh, take the less damage and, and reduce your weakness, no weakness at all. So you weren't limited to fire. They have to take, they have to take bigger knockouts that way with doing more energy. Mysterious treasure, another big card. Um, you discard a card from your hand. Search for a psychic or dragon. Dragon will be back is good with this, but they have quick, we have quick ball. But uh, okay, it's very hard to search for the V Max. But you do have evolution incense, which helps you search for the V Max too. But it's very hard that way. So it's like, yeah, very tough. And the Ultra Space is good for the Baby Blount, but something like that sucks for the Baby Blounts, or the Gaon knows all big, but stuff on GX. That's Fossil again. Okay, so that's for that. Now the Energies. Beast Energy was big. You get a 30 HP boost in the Baby Bacephalon and the Bacephalon, the Gaon knows GX. Dex. Get the big knocks and stuff, and then, yeah. That's pretty much it. So, yep, and then the Unit Energy was good for Spirit Tombs. So was playing the Spirit Tomb back, back then as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that. That was for Forbidden Light. Now we're going to move on to um, Ultra uh, Celestial Storm. Let me filter. Let me apply that. I don't know if there's any special energy, but it was just applied anyway. Oh, Rainbow Energy is big. Good in the Spirit Tomb decks, which gave it one damage counter more. So it's the Trainers to Celestial Storm. Pokemon. Okay, so let's go to Celestial Storm. Lone Eradicate was decent in the Mewtwo decks, which we pretty much did one shot like baby Pokemon, but it's going to two cards. You got more GXs that you didn't need to, in your hands to the pile, and then take a big knuckle that way. Uh, let's see what else. Elko, the GX good in the control decks. Uh, they have a big energy, Pokemon with a lot of energy attacks to it in the active. You use Cold Crush GX to discard them all, and they have to reload that way. It's kept them in the active spot big. Let's see what else. Manette GX. Very good early on, but not as good as much anymore. Uh, Celesteel was good, the baby one. So the, uh, the fire energy, they won 60, but if you down the four prizes, you, you need to have to discard the energy. Oh, I'm just doing Mega, Mega Blast first here. Just give me one second. Pokemon, if someone invited me, I, I, I'm not letting the invitation go to waste. Oh, the game is still on me a little. Okay, never mind. They lose, they lose mechanism to Pokemon Go, so. Try to defeat this real very quick and then we're to continue with the notifications. Yeah, so let's deal our. I'm just doing the, the uh, this uh, Mega Blastoise raid. Think about Mega Blastoise, Charizard, and Venusaur, and also Mega Beedrill. And as well, you need uh, you only can do it by winning Mega raids. And uh, pretty much thaw it out. Lagging over here, I don't know why. Gosh, give me one second. So I'm going to turn down the list. That goes away. Let's see what else we have here. 
This bell cat was good in the middle decks and full decks. It also got back to Bella Buzz. And, um, by well, you got two supporters back, so it was very good to get the Bella Buzz matchup. Get back supporters. Very good back then. It was played recent, very recently. Uh, the option was good too with the psychic, but it was good, very good early on, but not so much now. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, Dunsplash, Strike and Run. It was like a side up you got back. You charge out three Pokemon. And put it in the switch hit after. Anything else here? Jirachi Prism Star. Very common with the Zation combo decks. It allows you to get back, uh, take an extra prize. So you did it with the Mr. Mind for the deck of Pikachu. So you uh, ch put it back on the top with the regular with the from this uh, Sword and Shield with Primal Instinct. You put it back to the top of the deck. The Jirachi and Mr. Mind allows you to switch to the card on top of the deck with the prizes. And then you take a knock and take an extra prize. So it's very big that big then too, so it's like pretty cool. Alright, so let's go and move on to the next cards. Latios Prism Star was good. No, it was very good with the um uh with Quasar GX stacks was large because uh got back energy by attaching the discard to the discard. We were crazy GX. Well, so they didn't see much play now. Because Dragon Drags are not very much popular. Same with Lots with Prism Star, Dragon Fleet. So you go back to Pokemon like with uh, such like uh, Long Zeki Tour stuff like that. So not the best, but it's okay. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, Mercago was good. Pair with Mercago GX from Lost Thunder. It had um, uh, Crushing Trust. So you put a fire to the top with. Uh, Smooth over, which allows you to put a card from your deck, put it on top. So you put a fire energy on top, and then you put, of course, you, you discard the fire energy attached to it, and then you hit it with, harder with uh, lava flow, and a big knockouts too. So very popular in that that scene sense. All right, so let's move on to the next card. Sorry about that, folks. Lots of delay. My friend Andy played the Manage Switch back with Pikachu's Echo because it had an electric start, so you went second. You can put it to your, you can put it to your bench and then use the first of that double charge attached to a Pikachu's Echo on turn one, and then get it up to, off of front for turn two. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, nothing. Metagross was good back then. Uh, the Steven's Resolve combo. Mr. Mime GX was played at some point. Uh, let's see. Oh, but Crazy GX, one of my favorite card decks to play with Naganado, Vic of All from Sun and Moon Base. And the Storm Wind's ability, you uh, look at the top three cards, you found the energy, you attach it to one of your Quasars. You play with Naganados, you can just charge them the energies. And then uh, hit a hole with Dragon Break, and then for Grass Lightning, colors the 30 for each, times 30 for each dragon, Grass and Lightning in play. So the more Grass Energies you got there, the more damage it did. Let's see what else I got here. Some of the Turtles decks were playing as Excavate. Sableye, you look at the top card and you discard it, so you got rid of something you didn't need. Sizzle GX is one of my favorite GXs of all time. I did play back then with Metal Fire and Pandas of the Hessian, so it, did a, it was 108 pace, still wanted 180, 780, it reduced it by 30. The Crush Cup was good for evolutions back then in the day, but two. Did 100, 100, 200 for two energy. Super GX was okay. Uh, the Slug Mod was okay. What else? Um. I got to go for the beast decks, beast, uh, the beast box decks. So looks like they play for a while as well. Swamp person had a good ability, power draw, good for the evolution with Nidal Queen. You draw three, so you speed through your deck to get as many evolutions into play with Nidal Queen. And then yeah, hit it hard. Let's see what else we got here. Um, oh, the Sceptile was good in the Ultra Beast decks. Uh, power Nature prevent any damage for any. Uh, if you play against like a Cephalon, yeah, no, you. I didn't have any other grass energy pairs to the Ultra Beats. Pair with Sub Jow GX, I think from another player set too. It is tennis, so you lose this promo too as well. See anything else? Uh not really it looks like okay, so the Pokemon are done. Let's go to the trainers. So Acrobat's the key one. It's been play, been playing in August about Fire Station, Baby Baby Blounds too, Baby Blastephalon. You will top two cards, discard fire energy, discard metal energy from metal saucer. Attach that way and then keep, take a big key knockout that way as well. Okay, Apple is good in the Grand Bull decks. 
Starts with two ball cards, limit the hand. You see, starts with like ultra ball or like great ball, quick balls, and two discards and limiting hand also. So beast ball is good to swap out ultra beast. Very good control decks. Uh, copy cow is okay. Energy recycle system. Pretty decent to get back. Uh, like the uh, valuable Zegger Joe Titan GX. Well, boom, I did play. I did play energy recycle, which you do lose as well. So it was printed a secret in the side. The real friend, we did lose it. And the switch, we do keep because it was printed in Sword and Shield. Fishman, I think we do lose. Let me just double check that real quick. Uh, this is from Hidden Fates. Yeah, this is from Hidden Fates. So we do lose the Fisherman. We got like full back energy. But maybe by next start, they started to play it. Because you can get like energy very quickly that way. And take a big, take a big hit. Friend Ball was good in the uh, 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 Station decks. You're searching for a metal. You're searching for the same type. Uh, let's see. Hustle Belt, very powerful in the Spirit Tomb mm -hmm. decks. You can now you attach a you use a very well energy attachment. We also do lose in a set. It was also Celestial Storm. Put a damage counter uses the ability to put another damage counter. Uh, search for another Spirit Tomb. They use Jinx for ominous posture. Uh, move with the damage counter. They do the, uh, hit big one sixty turn one. Take a big hit. Uh, let's see. Uh, last to potion, pretty decent. Uh, Lobo is going to Vicar Ball decks with Charger Buck with battery. So you can charge. Get back to Charger Buck. With um, battery reattached for the bigger ball did big damage with electric cannon and powerful storm. Rainbow was also pretty same game. I see it's in that Oxygen Deal Palkia from the cargo decks. It's about energies as well. Red Cannon we do keep because it was printed in uh, Sword of Shield. Final Punishment, very big stadium card when EX Jacks was very popular. We do lose that stadium. Uh, pretty damage counter, so you take hit, uh, weaken them and they hit take a big knockout with them with a big Pokemon. Uh, Steam of Zod, very good in the control decks, search for any three cards. Sky Pillar, very good in the Dragon Ball decks early on, because they could put damage counters on the bench. So it's good, I think we lose two, I'm not sure. Another very popular card. Yeah, we do lose Super Scoop on those back, this is in the YX, uh, other side on set. Uh, you got back, uh, Spring of Summoning, oh, that was heavily hit, and then use it again. Switch we do keep because it was also in Sword and Shield. Terry and Liza, very good switching card for the control decks, and also a shovel draw for five. T Pro was very good in the Mallow Dog decks for the early discard energy draw three cards. A Drift Dog didn't discard an Underground Expedition, very good early on, not very much, very big deal. Uh, energy for the set, very more energy, big loss for the Spirit Tomb decks because they can go, uh, you give an extra damage counter, build it by hit it hard, and then attach it to anything. So this is Celestial Storm, now I'm going to talk to you about next time, I think it's Dragon Majesty, or but in, uh, uh, Dragon Majesty, not too many cards in this set. It was a very small set. Not many, en no energy at all. But the trainers, there's a few trainers. Dragon Majesty was, was a very small set. So I'm gonna go back. It was, very, it was a very small set, but they had some good cards too. They had some decent cards. Let's see the Pokemon wise. I'll tell you, GX very good early for the Bite Tour. Was playing some Mew to Mew decks. But uh, you copy it, but he actually GX is from attacking it. Basically, it was good with Fire Starter. Attach extra fire energy to the bench. Uh, let's see anything else here. Dragon and GX. Not this one was good. It was another, there's another one from I think Cosmo we still keep, which was very good. Still very good. Uh, nothing, nothing else really much. Quagsire, very popular with the Nagano GX as well. Nagano and also the Mewtwo Mew. Dex would just play Quagsire. Also with the Survivor GX. It's, you wash out, move on the energies from the basic to the active. And then hit a big numbers that way as well. Very good. I did play with the point on GX back then in the day. Uh, that's the one for hitting face also lose. West from GX, I did play with the whole GX back in the day with the Mimbalian GX. Turns out to fight energies to the active. Victini Prism Star is a big loss too. Was good in the Bacephalon decks. Good in the uh, Charles of West from decks. Got back the energy, shuffle it back in. Hit big numbers that way with Infinity. So you did play like 17 NG energy at one time. So you did big numbers with that only for one prize and then shuffle back then and use them again. Also lose the Terminator from Dragon Majesty, very good one prize attacker. More fire energy you did to play, more damage you did. Pair with Wilder, so you did up to big numbers with explosive jet. And that's it for the Pokemon trainers. There's a little bit of many trainers. Fire Flint, big loss in the Bustle and Baby Bustle and Deck. All the trust eventually you the Scarter card, you got back four energy from the hand. Very good pair, so you can use the fireball circuit to scarter energy out again. I'll uh, pair with Welder. Uh, weld attach and then get back big energy attach. Uh, get a double attachment, take a third attachment, take a big knock on another fire plant. Take a big knock on a big, big next Pokemon. 
that's it pretty much from Dragon Madness. Now I'm going to move on to uh, the next uh, series, I think it's Lost on it in the last set. Now we're almost to up to 158 that we lose. I don't really look the lowest number we lost to now, but I'll take a look at that. Lost on the trainers, and then we'll do Lost on Pokemon. And I'll also do promos. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Although, let me out, spoil the fun. They're playing some decks in turn as VMAX. Because they had a Jirachi, but they were going, you were going second. You could knock it out turn one if it was the only Pokemon to take a quick win that way. Easily. Uh, Lower Ninetales was one of my brother's favorite Pokemon, one of my brother's favorite cards with the Mysterious Guidance. It was good in the stage two decks. It was also good in the, uh, I think Arceus Diago Palkia's Zacian decks did play it at one point as well. The search for those metal swords to take a big knockout with Zacian, get them attached in turn one as well. Let's see what else we got here. Emperor's not that good. Uh, big, one of my brother's favorite cards, but if I want to cards for some of the GX, that is all there with a Gato from the set. Also, it wasn't playing the Baby Brown deck, also playing the Spirit Tomb decks, and also playing like in the Firebox decks for the Burst GX. Uh, you just got a card, they take you down to one prize, you touch a fire, take the last prize to win the game that way without attacking, taking on, going for the easy way, taking a knockout. Uh, let's see, Blissey, I did experience, uh, feature this in one of my videos in the past, a couple days ago. Uh, also, uh, Porygon Z as a pair off, powerful slap, very good attack with Porygon Z. Also, played with Wilder, some Wilder decks too. More energy attached, uh, more energy attached to it, the more potential you did for some big damage numbers as well. Very good card, one of my favorites actually. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, no, no. I did play Carl Riggers back then with Giratinas as well. Uh, the dead and Nuzzle shot. No, Nuzzle Kobe lose. Nuzzle pretty much dead as well. Ditto Prison Star, very popular with the Stage 1 decks. It gave you like an extra 5th Pokemon, 5th stage, 5th basic Pokemon to evolve to. So you can, uh, instead of wasting like the sta normally Stage 1 with all many evolution. Very good card. One of the, very good card. Ditto was good. Don Fan decent. Durant decent. For last mill. Uh, Genesec GX very good. The two decks gave it. You attach two two instead of one tool to it. Lost mm -hmm. Thunder. Uh, Giratina with Distortion very good. The Malamar is very good. Dragon Paul. I see Dragon Ball play. I see Mewtwo Mew play it to fix numbers. Very good attack at two. Very good with the Mal spell attack Malamar. So you loop it. Loop damage with the uh, Giratina knocks out. Uh, just put it back to the bench with the destruction door. Reattach with the Malamars and then attack again with it again. Very good card. I did not, wasn't a fan of it myself, but it was okay. Grand Ball, very good card, uh, card too with the All Out, very popular deck. They won six different one, one energy when having no cards. Very big numbers. Two trying to big things. One trying to big things. Gorbine was good with searching with the Grass Energy with the Sunshine Grace. Um, we also lose the Lost March deck too. Jump Loss, Skip Loom. The only one that's good is Cottony, but Cottony has no point because you don't have Jump Love anymore. Uh, Slush Mud's pretty much dead. Did 20 damage for each form on a Lost Zone, so you use Skip Loom's ability. Throw a path to the sky, put the Hop of the Skip Loom to the Lost Zone. Trump Beak as well, with the uh, Mountain. I forgot the name, I think it's called Mountain. I forgot the name of the ability of the card. Mountain Star. Little top card, found the part, discard it. Oh, you put it in the Lost Zone anyway, so it's good to put damage. Very good. One of my favorite decks I can play. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, Luga Jones was playing in Garden of Sylveon. Uh, you did Lost Punch, so you, let's say it had a big Pokemon with a lot of energy, you just remove that, uh, put in the Lost with all the energy, and then take out the attacker. Makargo mm -hmm. GS, one of my favorite decks with Makargo. Uh, Question Charge with Makargo from Celestial Storm, which I went over earlier. Uh, did, uh, you put an energy on the top of the deck, fire energy, and then Question Charge attached to it. Very good, Wilder. Uh, Lava Flow did 50 plus times no energy to squad it. Very good in the Mewtwo decks because you take a big knockouts with the Mewtwo deck. And then, yeah. But I'm going to miss that card as well. I'm going to miss these, a lot of these cards, actually. This one was played in the Vicar Vault deck from this set. Uh, also played in Mill. Uh, so we probably put a bomb to sleep. And Common was probably Forest. Uh, they give, uh, you flip two coins. Very hard on them to wake up. Very proud. I did play this very, as well. Uh, oh, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, Meganium. Quick winding of her we lose. Uh, if you evolve it, you go, it's like a rare candy from a Pokemon. Even if you put it into play, you can like evolve it from Nidoran to Nidoqueen. Queen, and then uh, hit big numbers with uh, Nidoqueen's Queen's attack to 260 for three uh, three energy. Future evolution out of your bench. 
Uh, let's see. Mimikyu is also played in some decks. Moon Turing, very good with the Lost Noble Milks. My favorite card from uh, all time, one of my favorite cards of all time again, uh, with Lost Thunder, 180 30 HP, Psychic, Stage 1. Charge of Ability, get an extra energy attachment for the squad power. And Turning Point was good at some points, you could pretty much one shot. Move to move decks and then down three prize if you have three prizes. And then you can hit three twenty. Very I'm gonna miss this card all altogether. I'm gonna miss those decks that play this card as well. That's lost on a not to Villa Halo's good in the spirit tomb decks. Also playing in Malamoy. If you're down two prizes, copy any attack. Hit the big numbers, which is for one prizer. Uh the card of Sheninja control was very popular too as well. I was good in pick and run when it first came out. Take a one shot. Poi put oops. Oh, no, I'm, I'm okay. Went out by accident. Let's see anything else. Was, well, Remote Mysterious Guidance is good for the fairy types. But fairy's dead, it thanks to the sword and shield. All fairy types are now second type Pokemon in the game. Shout out GX. Very good. Did play that for a while. Shaman is good in the Cell of the Venusaur. Heal 20 damage. Very tanky. Uh, Send Ninja Vessel Light. Very good. It was own, had his own deck, Send Ninja Control. Uh, take one fewer prize card. So the attacker took one prize, take no prizes. So you control opponents, prizes, and send up opponent cannot play the game, taking no prizes whatsoever. Alright, so... Also, Struggle GX was very... Oh, this Struggle was good with their Lord of Second Tour. Also playing in Santa Cana V decks, Colossal, so you put three fire engines, two fire and fire. They use Colossal's Tour generator from Rebel Class to attach it to Santa Cana to keep attacking and hit 220 turn one. Struggle GX also very decent. Good for the uh, two more energy retreat. Struggle so GX would actually be playing in Mewtwo. Because of the mirror counter, so if they use if they attack with GX, you target they let's say they attack with um the own Mewtwo, they hit a hard and then they take a hard hit back. So it's pretty good back then with spin plates. So skip like a whole lost match in the floor, cut past the sky, give lost match his name. You put hard skip to the lost zone, put jump love out, and they hit big numbers with multiple the big numbers just for turning one, one only one grass energy. Uh, let's see what else. Snubble, yes, that's a special. Sweetcomb GX, not really. Uh, Tabulator Fairy Charms, Tabulator, no. Trumbeak, Mountain Pass, Griffin lost much checks. You, the top card was a support of the scar, but it didn't really matter because you don't need, your goal is to get an instant loss, so which doesn't really do, so it doesn't really matter if you have that, with that as well. So, Unknown Hand, um, very combination deck with this Side Dark and the Salazzo. With Ross Reveal, which I think we still keep. Uh, discard your fire, draw three, get as many cards as you can. Uh, you also play with a Psyduck. I think it's from a recent set as well. Um, you like, train a lot of them so they can't play the mines or reset stamps. So you pretty much have big hand control the whole game, no matter what. Uh, let's see what else we have here. White Kirim, one of my favorite Architect of Fusion Flames. Very early on, I did play it. Journey's Prism Star. Very good. It, it did play in the alt in the Mutant Mule decks with the uh, Solber Sogaleo GX, which you lose by the way. Path of Light, you did uh, move the uh, energy from the Zodiac to the active. You did one shot at us as the Aero Pair of Kia, but it was weak to Fairy. Moved by Hunter does 320 damage. As that Striker, very good card in the Escadrille decks with Sprint. So you can't get any Pokemon. You can't thin it down your deck as few as possible. And then discard your hand, draw four, keep discarding your hand, draw four to uh, use for the eleventh hour attack with the one hundred eighty damage for one energy. Put it on one side of Pikachu Zacrum that way. And then Zero R GX, very good in the Pikachu decks, Pikachu Zacrum decks, and the Vicomal decks, gave Thunder Lightning Energy, Pokemon Free Energy. Free retreat, they use the switches now. Which they have to use now, unfortunately. So that's the Pokemon, that's Loot Trainers. Okay, so we have Adventure Bag, pretty good for searching those tools, like Brave Bus other searching for Beast Springers. Tool drop searching for the many tool cards. Very good card back then. Uh, Twist Helmet, very decent. Counter Gain, uh, very good, but we have Karate Bell, but it's only for fighting types. But Counter Gain gonna, was good in Obstagoon, and they play it. So they take the one of your guys, and they, they take, uh, you Counter Gain, use the uh, Obstruct for one energy instead of two, and then just keep attacking that way. Custom Gadget was good when before Boss's Order came out. Very much uh, the same with Gust. Um, Card to uh, by searching two or very good draw cards. You got only have one draw three. If you have any support, you can just draw. Electro power, big loss for the Pikachu Zekrom decks and the Lightning decks because Lightning uh they didn't just one shot things with the uh thirty doing thirty more damage. So they're only doing one fifty two hundred on max. They can't hit any more bigger than that. So pretty much one shot. I don't know if Pikachu stays good. Pikachu Zekrom stays good after rotation, but we'll see. 
with the star bar. Very good on the control decks. Got rid of a special energy or two card at the skateboard for Jirachis. Special energy is now, now as well. Very Trumps are gone. Heat Factory Prism Star. Very good in the fire decks. The squad of fire draw three. Baby Bocephalon played it. Uh, Charles and Virgin played it. Center Scorch played it. Charles and Any fire deck played this card. It's a very good card to search out for. Um, so did I draw your deck a little bit more. Very popular. Uh, also, Life Force, one of my favorite stadium cards is for grass tires and heals 60 damage and a special edition. So I do play currently in my real B Max deck. So they, they paralyze something with Tamil Shock. I use Life Force to heal it and then attack again and take the win. It won in so many games with that actually. It's also been very good in the um, Lost March decks. Draw to uh, get two moments of Lost Zone, draw a card. Lucimi was also decent too. It did play some. It did see some play in the Baby Persephone one because you can deliver the three prizes in Ultra Beast decks, so, and they can be touched next turn. You got a free attack like with um, a free Beast Swing turn because you still have three prizes no matter what. So, yeah. Mixed turn very good with the game. It did play see play the game on Mimikyu almost start and charge in the greens. Uh, trust one's decks. You search for them too, and heal now he does and a special condition. We were trapped. Very good card too. Not really him. Netball, one of my favorite cards. I do play a Rilla Booming Max. So you search for a grass basic or energy search for my Rilla Booms Grookies. Well, a lot of Zaki to all the gra basic grass and energies. But I do have a quick one to replace it. It's okay, but it's not. I was like, I can't search for an energy too. Uh, Lecture was good early on, but with the first turn supporter rule. This is some place still in the Unknown Hand deck. It went first too as well. Uh, you search for three Pokemon. With 60 HP, such as Lost Marchers. Very good as well. Yep. yep. Uh, Sight Seer was good in Malamar too. Just uh, draw the to five. Spell Tag, very big hit in the Malamar Spell Tag deck. That's like it's pretty much dead. We lost the Malamar, Giratina, all those 1 1. Uh, Dragon Ball did play it too as well. But Dragon Ball is a good way out of it. You don't really need it, but it's very good. Also, down the down the Prism Star, very good, very big for the Lightning decks because you can't full blitz turn one with Pikachu's that Crom. You can't paralyze and bolt turn one. It's going to be a little bit harder. You, it could still be done. But it's going to be a little bit harder thanks to Thunder Mountain being lost. But you do have kind of Tackle for Crystal Stars, Crystal Stars, so you can just go attach the Vigor Ball the bench, just squad 200 with the Daniel Quick Balls, use Tackle Coco Crystal Stars, Dench the Ancients, uh, get back to energy, switch out, and then attack paralyze and bolt again. But it's really hard to, uh, for Pikachu to run to full blitz because they have to do. It could still be that you can go uh, attach your energy, Tackle Coco Crystal Star, Quick Ball 2 energy with the Daniel 2 energy away. Uh, Chirical Crystal Stars ability, then energy switch to the third energy attached, and then full blitz. It'll be a little harder, but it can still be done, but it's gonna be a little bit harder. What is that? Also, be playing good, very good in the greens decks because you went second. Uh, you just got an energy attached to one, and yeah, very good. I don't think there's any energy here, I don't think. Let me just take a quick look. I don't think there's any energy in Lost Thunder. I'm gonna take a quick look, real quick. I remember energy not a big deal. Okay, so let me do the promos now. That's all the major sets we lose. Hidden phase is all just reprints, so it doesn't really matter. But let's go ahead and do the promos real quick. The Sun and Moon promos. I have to do a promo. I don't know what the last promo where I was played, so I have to keep that in mind. But we're up to 158 we keep. So we lose, all, we lose 158 on. Let me start with, uh, let me go to... Sentiment promos. But I'm very excited for this rotation that happened. It's gonna change. It's gonna change the game a lot. A, a lot, I think. Okay, so let me go to Sentiment promos. Let's see. Okay, this one. This one. This one. So they were legal still. I don't want to see any key ones that we lose. Okay, let me just go scroll down. This is 158 on. Um, so, and this is uh, Buzzwall. Yeah, it wasn't. I was lost anyway with Clean Invasion. Uh, Cause Lester Storm. Uh, what else was this? This is Carbonaro. Uh, Dragonite. That's okay. It doesn't matter. We do. We keep these ones too. Even GX we do keep, which is nice. We got the we all the other evolution GXs. Uh, let's see. These were already these were already rotated. Yeah, nothing special here. I think these were already rotated as it was as it was. 
At least we keep meal from the meal was good. Meal was still good. Let me kill. No, let me kill. Uh, let's see. Okay, we do have a pickle. Uh, we do keep the nozzle pickle. We, we do keep it. We're spending a cosmetic club, so we do keep that stuff. Uh, let's see. Pickle is that crumb. That's it. Yeah, all the promos are still keep for the most part. I don't remember the last promo that was numbered, so I really, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's it pretty much. We're pouring Jax to keep. Do we can also keep Jolty on Jax? Let me just show that I don't have either. I can't order my number. Sucks. Uh, can I order my number? No, I can't. No. So we do keep all the uh, evolution. Uh, so that's it for the. Okay, so that's it. That's my description video for the. Uh, uh, rotation. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna do a quick uh, edit of my decks. For the only thing I'm gonna really play is Willowboom Remax. Also, the, uh, this one I wanted to play Salamence Remax too. So let me take. I think I still have Willowboom right here. I'm gonna change it so it makes it it's legal. So this one requires I do I do lose right now. So we lose the Energy Recycler, which I think that's Celeste. Let me see what set that was. I gotta I gotta check that set again. Let me just go here. Let me see that logo. Let me go to Sun and Moon series. That was Guardians. But it was printed secret in one set. I forgot what secret. What set that? What set? What set the secret was printed? It was printed in Ultra Prism. Uh, let me just show that I don't have any secret. One. What set the secret one from? That's from Forbidden Light, I believe. Let me just go back to the logos. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So we do lose energy recycler. Go back to my deck real quick. Go here. So we lose. Okay, so we lose energy recycler, netball, um, life force, and Cynthia. So I'm gonna replace all those cards. I can. Okay, so I'm gonna take our uh, first roll to the trainers. We'll take all the energy. Recycler. We're gonna add a second ordinary one to get back Pokemon and energy. Uh, the Cynthia, life force. I'm gonna add a fourth Terra Field Stadium. Search for evolution. And the Cynthia's, I'm going to take out for two Arrogance House Fatality because Eternatus is big. And then uh, they can. It's a very good draw support as well, which I like. Let me, say, I have to hit, let me get the Hidden Fates one. I'm going to hit Hidden Fates one. Yeah, let me. Let me keep, oh, that's a reverse one. I don't have the regular one. Sorry, right, that's okay. So we'll keep those two. Yeah, Arrogance stays. Ones. And then also we're gonna play Bird Keeper because it draws cards and it allows us to um, retreat for free. We lose to item lock. Okay, so there's the final deck right there, folks. I'm also gonna do Salamence Remax too, which is another deck I, want, I still want to play because Salamence Remax is one of my favorite um, decks right now because it does big damage with the. Um, Uh, does the big damage with the max wing. So we're gonna add four salamands, the three salamands to be max, uh, the three porygons. And perhaps we're, I'm not having to keep porygon Z though, because that's that's unbroken bond, so. Uh, porygon two, we keep one before one, and then porygon Z. We're also gonna add Mew and Eldegoss. We was putting on Bunker Bonds and stuff, we still keep it. Uh, also, um, Elder Ghost for the, uh, three of my supporters. I want to play Elder Ghost, I want to play Elder Ghost in non-V, uh, in v decks only. I don't play in pretty much, like, not max. The trainers are going to be, uh, the energy is going to be, uh, recycle. It's going to be powerful colorists. Four powerful colorists, four recycle, four recycle, and four triple colorists. I'm can't wait to see what this rotation is gonna bring. I'm gonna do some gameplay tomorrow. And I'm gonna show you. Uh, in next in another video. So let me add the supporters. We're gonna add Erica's. Oh, just two Erica's. We don't need two. Uh, Bird Keeper. 
I like that switch out, and that gives you his draw power too. Uh, Professor, uh, Marnie. Marnie, then research uh, the boss's orders. And then the, and then the re uh, researches. Okay, and I'm gonna have quick ball. Oops, nothing up. Uh, quick balls. Play for quick ball. Uh, two for my communication. Uh, okay, this is the new fault on the trainer's toolkit. Uh, four switch. Yeah, the switch. We're using sword. We like. I like to use the newer cards. Newer arts for cards. Uh, three red candy as well. Add three candy. Let's also add uh, ordinary rod to grab back Pokemon and stuff. Let's add in Poke Gears. And then I'm going to add uh, Chaos for my stadium was twice here because uh, we like all stadiums being played. So that's it. That's, that's the deck right there. And that's pretty much the deck right there. That's Salamence VMAX. The Salamence Porygon Z to save it. Okay, so I'm going to do, uh, do I choose, choose a random coin. Uh, what color is so? I just choose any like random type coin. I'll just do dragon because it is dragon type technically, so. And that box will be a colorless deck box. Okay, there we go, colorless deck box, and save. There we go, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for. Oh, remember, is it still, let me see. Am I missing any? Am I. Let me say that too. Why isn't it expanded? Why isn't that standard legal? Did I miss something? Oh, we missed all the keys. That's how unified my We keep that. Yeah, so I don't know why it's still putting me here. Did I miss a card? Oh, and that balls. That's why I have to put a quick ball now. That's right. Whoopsie. Quick ball. So we have to use quick balls down in that balls for a little boom. Pretty much has the same purpose, but. You just got a card, I guess, I said. And there we go, now it's a legal deck. So that's much legal decks for now. I'll do more of those as I go along. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, stay tuned for more videos like this. Uh, I'll do some, I'll probably do some post-rotation content tomorrow. Uh, with uh, Rillaboom. I'll, I'll give Rillaboom a try. Also, Silence VMAX a try. Uh, if you did like the video, hit the thumbs up. For liking the content. Uh, hit the uh, notification bell so you know next time I will put a video up. And subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you so much. Thank you very much and enjoy. Bye for now.